out with a lingerie line that you might be excited about. It's called Savage. Okay, wrong Savage there, guys. But she obviously has good taste in names. And you have great taste in games. So slip into something a little more comfortable and get ready to play. I'm Sharon Carpenter, your good host gone bad. And this is HQ Trivia, where if you work, 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 then we're going to have your money. Now, we see you out there, players. Hello to Rosalind, Kevin, Ebony, Vanna, Noreen, Joseph, and Nadia working together to get that win. Hi to Paul Searson, Brian Spencer. Kurt O'Connor and Stephen Woods and happy birthday to Kirk Fenton and Charlene and Lila as well good luck to all of your players now if this is your first time playing the rules are simple I'm gonna ask you a series of questions from easy to hard you have more than four or five seconds you've got ten seconds to tap the answer if you get it correct you move on answer all 12 right and you win or you split the cash tonight all I see is signs all I see is dollar signs we are pouring up five thousand dollars there's more than enough to make it rain. And if it does rain, enough umbrellas so you don't need to stand on the mine. But before you throw the cash, you've got to own that cash. It's time to go out. It's Q1. Clothes normally go from a washing machine to what other machine? Fax, dryer, ATM. Or you can just have the laundry service pick it up from your house. If you put your wet clothes in the ATM, don't expect cash back, okay? You just broke the thing. I'll stick with the dryer, thank you very much. Dryer, your winning answer here. One million of you spinning on to the next round. A super fast ultrasonic dryer was just created in the US. Better hit that ATM again several times to cover the cost of that thing. Q2, which of these animals is usually the smallest? Goose, moose, Bruce Willis. None of them are that small, but which one is the smallest of the bunch? You wouldn't want to get any of these guys angry, but if you have to, you'd be wise to go for the smallest one. It's Goose. Goose is the smallest creature here. 984,000 after you're feeling loosey-goosey. Then again, after that recent Goose attack on the golf course, you saw that, right? You may want to mind your manners around Mother Goose as well. Okay, Q3, which of these is a shade of red? Crimson, turquoise, emerald. 50 shades of red, but only one shade of red right here. This is either a case of what color is the dress or some of you need to study a color chart. Emerald is green, turquoise is blue, and so are you. If you didn't tap crimson, because crimson is a shade of red, 944,000 of you are ready for that next round. Now, crimson is a rich, deep purplish red or the color of your face if you chose emerald. Q4, by definition, numbers that are less than zero are classified as what? Imaginary, negative, transcendental. Numbers don't lie. Remember that, players. Your imagination won't get you too far here. It's time to bring out the math skills. If you subtract a bigger number than you start with, you are left with negative. Negative is the answer we were looking for. 906 of you are heroes. You're not zeros. Now, if you picked up the book less than zero to get more info, you got a story on a rager instead. Wrong book. Q5. What shape best describes the USDA's current diagram of a balanced diet? Square, pyramid, circle. So many shapes to play around with here. Now, my balanced diet consists of Pirate's Booty, Guacamole, and Sour Patch Kids, but the USDA suggests much more balance in circular form. Circle is your answer here on Q5, and that was a crazily savage question. Unbelievable. 750,000 of you gone, just like that. 117,000 of you still in the circle, though. The diagram used to be square before various pyramid schemes. Nowadays, it's in two circles. How times have changed. Wow. Okay, six. Which state's capital contains the name of the state? Indiana, Iowa, Maine. Are you going to capitalize on this one, HQTs? I do hope so. Two U.S. states are name-checked by their own capital. Oklahoma's Oklahoma City is an obvious one. And then there's Indianapolis in Indiana. 
Indiana is the state we were looking for here. 90,000 of you in a great state here on Q6. Indianapolis wasn't the state's first capital. Corridan was given the boot in 1820, just four years after it was formed. Q7, which of these terms refers to the outer region of the sun's atmosphere? Tacoma, Corona, Zygoma. Sun, finally starting to come out in New York City. Hooray for that. I know one term that refers to that region, hot, but here's the other one. I'll take it with a lime, please. It's Corona for the win. 67,000 of you blazing through to the next round. Speaking Espanol may or may not have helped you with this one. La Corona is Spanish for crown. Q8, which animal is not a species of wild cat? Rockwell, Onsela, Margay. So many types of cats, it's hard to keep up. All cats have a bit of a wild side, but wild cats take it to another level. In Central and South America, you'll find Margays and Unsulas, but you won't find Rockwells, and they're not cats. 29,000 if you're still with us. We lost about 50% of you here on Q8. Wow, okay, instead of wilding out, rock wolves like to have a whale of a time. They are whales, after all. Q9, the lead actor in Better Call Saul starred on what 90s sketch comedy TV series, Mr. Show, Estate, Kids in the Hall. Better Call Saul, good show right there. Hopefully you're not breaking bad on this round. Now, if you don't know this one, I hope you called a know-it-all instead of Saul. Before practicing shady law on TV, Bob Odenkirk shook his crime stick on HBO's Mr. Show. That's right. And that was Savage. That was Savage. It was here on Q9. 9,370 of you are still with us. If you didn't get this question right, Saul, good man better keep watching. Q10, which of these would a doctor most likely make use of? Clonopinacoid, Zipoplastron, Armamentarium. Just rolls off the tongue, these words do. Can you tell? I probably butchered every one of them. But no, it's not a new type of highly protected aquarium. It's the fancy name for doctor's resources. Armamentarium. That's what we're looking for here. And... That was another Savage, it really was. It was here on Q10, back to back Savages happening in tonight's game. 2,576 of you are just what the doctor ordered. An armamentarium is a collection of doctor's medicines, methods, and equipment. Q11, which US president did not win a Nobel Peace Prize? Woodrow Wilson, Franklin Roosevelt, Teddy Roosevelt. Things are really heating up here on this Q11. He might have had his eyes on this prize, but this president conked out before the end of his war. Posthumous Nobels are very rare, so he remains prizeless. It's Franklin Roosevelt is the correct answer. 1,550 of you still with us. Roosevelt was the only president to serve more than two terms. And we're moving on to our final term, the final round. 1,550 players still in the game. $5,000 off the grabs. Right now, who is about to take that money home? The author of which of these works also wrote a famous biography of Christopher Columbus, Rip Van Winkle, A Tramp Abroad, A Christmas Carol. Everything riding on your answer to this. Three great stories, but which one was by a biographer? The first famous American biography of Columbus isn't known for being the most accurate. But then again, author Washington Irving was so great at fiction. He proved that with Rip Van Winkle for the win. We've got 1,077 winners. You smashed it. <laughs> Congratulations to our 1,077 winners surviving all of those savage questions. You are taking home $4.65 tonight. We've got 
891 looking kind of like Spidey right there. We've got Antonio Lemon giving his friend a pat on there. We've got Zach Zilla and a bunch more of you. Well done. You should be laughing, crying, screaming right now. You made it all the way to the end. What are you going to do with that cash? You can stick it in the ATM minus the clothes, of course. Get yourself some pirate's booty and guacamole for that balanced diet. There's a lot you can do with that cash right there. Wow, what an amazing game. You are part of the HQ entity here for Infinity on the leaderboard. Thank you for hanging with me, HQTs. I'm Sharon Carpenter. You can find me on the socials right here. That's where you can find me. It's been fun. And the original rude boy himself, Scott, is back tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern to give you another chance to get your mitts on $5,000. Until then, winners, enjoy your earnings. Players, enjoy your learnings. And I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs> Woo!